at the White House this evening, increasing pressure on President Trump. Where is the evidence of the, quote, imminent attack that the president and the administration used to justify the deadly drone strike? Tonight, the president was asked about the evidence and how he answered. Here's ABC's chief White House correspondent, Jonathan Carl. Amid rising tensions, Democrats tonight are demanding the White House make public the intelligence they used to justify taking out Qasem Soleimani. Knowledge of the actions and justification should be shared with the American people in a timely manner. President Trump has declared Soleimani was killed to thwart an imminent threat. Soleimani was plotting imminent and sinister attacks on American diplomats and military personnel. But we caught him in the act. But there are questions about just how imminent the threat was. In an interview today, conservative talk radio host Rush Limbaugh asked the president to explain why he ordered the strike when he did. Could you explain to people why what you've done here makes us safer, why it was necessary, and why what we did was right? He should have been taken out a long time ago, and we had a shot at it, and we took him out. And we're a lot safer now because of it. But the president made no mention of an imminent threat. This evening, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff told reporters the intelligence was, quote, compelling, adding... Did it exactly say who, what, when, where? No. But he was planning, coordinating, and synchronizing significant combat operations against U.S. military forces in the region, and it was imminent. So let's get to John Carl live at the White House tonight. John, you know Democrats say they should have been informed about plans to kill Soleimani. The House now planning to vote on a war powers resolution this week to try to limit the president's ability to a wage war on Iran. And the administration is now preparing to brief Congress on what exactly the intelligence was. David, on Wednesday, there will be briefings for the full House and the full Senate on that intelligence. But those will be classified briefings and closed to the public, still unclear when the public will be told or even if the public will be told about the intelligence behind that attack. All right, John Carl, our thanks to you as well tonight. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.